Fun fact, that was actually the taco's first bath in probably well over a year. So, much deserved, been a good truck. <laughs> the blizzard we encountered last episode continued into last night, and with the heater still not working properly, I decided to spend the night at Walmart for the first time. There were a bunch of other van lifers there that helped me keep my spirits up with no heater. And although the blizzard made for a chilly night last night, it also made for an awesome second day of skiing at Copper Mountain today. Two freestyle skiers, Noah and Tyler, down. graciously allowed me to tag along with them for some morning warm-up laps and helped me learn the front side of the mountain a little bit better. Yes, Once Noah and Tyler headed off to do their training for the day, two snowboarders, Logan and Paris, invited me to find some pow with them, and I called it quits shortly after that because I still had a heater to try and fix. After yanking out my fridge to access the spare heater parts, I spent the entire afternoon squirming around under the truck, replacing the fuel pump, fuel lines, and fuel fittings, as I had noticed some air bubbles in the fuel line. Unfortunately though, despite all this wrenching, the heater still didn't cooperate upon testing it out afterwards. I suspect the heater just doesn't work at as high an elevation as it was advertised to, which is a bummer, but oh well. To warm up, I went to Pho Bay in Avon, Colorado, and got myself a nice big hot bowl of pho, which is a Vietnamese soup with noodles and meat served with different herbs and veggies that you can add as you like. I just barely got to the local rec center in time to squeeze in a much needed shower, and now we're back on the road, headed towards Eagle, Colorado, where we have a pretty fun surprise planned for tomorrow. Pulling into the rec center here in Gypsum, and uh, looks like we're urban camping yet again. Man, look at all those stars. Usually, I don't know, where I'm from, stars aren't this bright. All right, so I'm just posted up at the rec center and public library here. I'm the only guy in this lot. I don't know why I'm so sketched out tonight compared to the other. <sighs> Crazy stuff we've done. I don't know, this feels like a safe spot. I figure now that we're at a little bit lower altitude, a little bit lower elevation, we should test this thing out, see if it wants to cooperate now. Well, would you look at that? The heater does work at this elevation. I accidentally fell asleep listening to the heater, seeing if it was running smooth. And this is actually the smoothest it's run all trip. So I think the work we did to it was good. I just don't know. I don't know if it was the fuel pump, the fuel line, or the altitude, or a combo of those factors. But we gotta be at Eagle Airport in less than an hour, so we gotta get up, get some food, and get over there for today's surprise. had a beautiful drive from the rec center to a breakfast spot as you can see the terrain I almost just went the wrong way the terrain is crazy different here it's like more arid dry desert like mountains I don't I don't know really beautiful too in its own way anyhow I just had a really solid breakfast sandwich from Village Bagel Co here in gypsum got a bacon egg and cheese on an everything bagel just mucked that thing brushed my teeth in the costco parking lot and uh, we should be at the airport in less than five minutes here i think i just go straight it says it says no no trespassers violators will be prosecuted well let's uh Hope we don't get prosecuted, huh? Dang, that's a sick old helicopter. Wow. Dude, look at these helicopters. Those are like full on crazy military helicopters. Look at that. Dang, that's cool. All right, we should be approaching our gate here to get out to the hangar. Hey, there's Bijou. Let's go. 
Dang, this is pretty cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so sick. What a beautiful spot. This is so crazy. I've never seen, I've like never seen a hangar. I've never been in a hangar for that matter. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it, it's like a slot. Bijou's working away, making great progress on the mural, and uh, David and his wife have graciously offered to take me up for a ride in their plane, so we're about to go for a spin. Sweet. <laughs> Have you ever messed around with uh, aerobatics? Dude, yeah, I did it. We did um, some aerobatics back in August, and it was the sickest thing ever. Yeah. It was so cool. <laughs> I would like totally do that, but the planes are so expensive. Like, yeah, uh, it's like if yeah. you're gonna have like the end of that. You can either do a bunch of spins in the sky, or you can go somewhere in your airplane. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Do it. Uh, what did you, uh... Do it? Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, you got the footage, you got... <laughs> 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 Beautiful. 
cool. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the horn and all. Over <laughs> 72 Echo, are you parking the north ramp or south ramp? Nice job, TT Bar. Thank you. Eagle Tower, afternoon TBM. <laughs> now it's time to check out the mural. Yeah! <laughs> that looks sick! Betsy? Betsy? Betsy, can you give? Betsy, give. Betsy. Today might have been the most epic day of the entire trip so far and definitely one of the most epic days of my life. I know last night and this morning was a little frantic, I was a little all over the place, but got it together and met Bijou and her boyfriend Connor at the Eagle Airport. They introduced me to Christina and David, who are two professional pilots and the owners of the hangar that we were so thankfully able to work in, or Bijou was invited to work in. Eventually, the sun went down and Bijou finished up just in time for us to head out to a more open part of the airport with a bunch of mountains in the background. We were able to get a nice look at the finished product, which I am stoked on. I'm super, super stoked at how this thing looks, even better than I had envisioned. And uh, I'm just sad that the orange traction boards are gonna have to go back on and cover up these two cute little cacti on the pack because I feel like they really tie it together. The whole mural is supposed to be a wraparound design of either coast and in between, the mountains, cacti for a desert, and the ocean for the edge of the coast. I think it's cool. I think it aligns with my story, my trip here. And uh, I can't thank David, Christina, Connor, and Bijou enough, and Betsy for that matter for an incredible, incredible day today. I'm gonna remember this for the rest of my life. And uh, I'm just really fortunate to have been connected with such great people so far. And uh, that leads me to an interesting point. Of course, when we wrapped up the day at the airport, the sun had just gone down. It was about 4.30, 5 o'clock. And for the past two or three hours, I've just been sitting at a gas station. And I think that's the toughest part about this trip right now, maybe in general about solo travel is uh, you have such highs and such lows. And maybe that's what life's all about, but it's kind of tough, I'm not gonna lie. But that's part of the, that's part of this lifestyle and uh, choice to travel like this. And you know, I can't complain. It's what I signed up for. I'll survive, knock on wood. Anyhow, that's gonna wrap up this episode. I hope I didn't ramble on too much. I hope you guys had a blast watching. And I hope you continue to tune in for the rest of the journey. Thank you so much for watching. I truly love each and every one of you. And until next time, keep making the most of it.